listeners. Thank you for being here for our weekly podcast, the Class Action Weekly Wire. My name is Jerry Matman. I'm a partner at Dwayne Morris, and joining me today are my colleagues, Derek Franklin and Zev Grumet Morris. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you, Jerry. Happy to be part of the podcast. Thanks, Jerry. Glad to be here. Today on the podcast, we're discussing the recent publication of our practice group, the 2024 edition of the Dwayne Morris Discrimination Class Action Review. Listeners can find the ebook publication free of charge on our blog, the Dwayne Morris Class, Class Action Defense Blog. Derek, could you provide our listeners with uh, a summary of what that publication is all about? Absolutely, Jerry. Class action litigation in the discrimination space remains an area of key focus of skilled class action litigators in the plaintiff's bar. As a result, compliance with discrimination laws in the myriad of ways that companies interact with employees, customers, and third parties is a corporate imperative. To that end, the class action team at Dwayne Morris is pleased to present the Discrimination Class Action Review 2024. This publication analyzes the key discrimination-related rulings and developments in 2023 and the significant legal decisions and trends impacting discrimination class action for 2024. We hope that companies and employers will benefit from this resource and their compliance with these evolving laws and standards. Thanks, Derek. In 2023, courts around the country issued a mixed bag. I've always thought that discrimination class actions strike at the very brand and reputation of corporations. Zeb, what are some of the takeaways from the publication with regard to major developments in 2023? So for decades, federal courts routinely granted class certification in nationwide employment discrimination class actions. But this changed in large part over a decade ago when the U.S. Supreme Court decided Walmart Inc. v. Dukes, where the court tightened the legal requirements for securing class certifications. But the pendulum appears to be swinging back as courts are becoming increasingly inclined to find for plaintiffs in class certification rulings within the discrimination context. In 2023 alone, courts granted class certification 50% of the time, while, of course, denying certification in the other 50% of cases. Well, the discrimination class action space is certainly uh, evolving and reflecting societal trends. Derek, what do you foresee corporate counsel can expect uh, for the coming year in 2024? Ultimately, as the class action landscape continues to evolve, so too are the playbook theories of the plaintiff and defense bars. Counsel on both sides are becoming more sophisticated and creative in their approaches to prosecuting and defending class actions. Courts are facing increasing pressure to quickly and efficiently discern between properly pled actions and meritless litigation, not only to promote court expediency, but also to spare businesses the incredible expense that accompanies class action defense. So while workplace inequality continues to grab headlines and remain the forefront in, in the public eye, employers can expect discrimination class actions to reach even greater heights in 2024. Well, thanks for that information. Key and important for corporate counsel trying to get ahead of these litigation risks. Of course, uh, conversion of the filing of a discrimination class action into a certified class and then into a settlement is the holy grail for the plaintiff's bar. Um, Zev, how did the plaintiffs do in terms of that conversion rate in 2023 uh, with respect to settlement amounts? Yeah, plaintiffs did very well in securing high settlement dollars in 2023. The top 10 discrimination settlements totaled $762.2 million dollars which was a significant increase over 2022 when the top 10 discrimination class action settlements totaled only $597 million. Well, it'll be interesting to see in 2024 if we cross the billion dollar line in this area. It seems like these settlements are on an upward trend and aiming for that billion dollar area. Certainly uh, uh, a, an important statistic that we track here at Dwayne Morris in terms of our analysis of class action rulings and class action settlements. Well, thank you, Derek, and thank you, Zev, for being here today, and thank you to our loyal listeners for tuning in. You can uh, get your free copy of the Discrimination Class Action Review ebook on our website, and it's free of charge.
Thanks for having me, Jerry. And thank you to all the listeners. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone.